All right, what's going on, fellas? So we're back for another top five fragrance list. So in this list, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be bringing you the top five compliment pulling fragrances. These are ones are the fragrances by the brand of Mont Blanc. So Mont Blanc is one of those designer brands that for me is a really good price per milliliter fragrance brand. In other words, most of these I get on discounters. Most of my Mont Blanc fragrances, I think every one I have in my collection, I've gone through a discounter, but they've been able to be some of the best common pulling fragrances I've had where for the price, you really can get good value from them. So again, we're going to do another five to one. So we're going to rank these. And again, when I rank them, it's more so for their usefulness, coupled with their uniqueness, coupled with the amount of compliments I get for that fragrance. Since I've worn all five of these in the list today, worn them out, I, I look at, okay, what is the scent quality? What is the CRs? What is the lasting power? And then how does it do when I wear it out in public, okay? So we're gonna start off the list, this first one. And this is the first time I mentioned in this one, but this is a really good one. And one, I, have a, I don't usually get the chance really to, to wear this one out because of where I live. You know, it's more of a, night out freshy but still i think this could be pulled off during the daytime if your nose can really uh kind of pull this one here is mont blanc and this one is legend night so just by the bottle i do like the bottle design legend night is going to come at us with that cardamom mint apple lavender and vanilla tonka bean and musk so a nice fresh but also woodsy but also floral but also aromatic fragrance it does have a quite an array of Fragrance notes, and when you spray it on, it is it is it is a nice fragrance. The problem with it is that this, at least for this one, the longevity wasn't always the best. Coupled with it doesn't really smell as unique as you would kind of think it would. Um, it's one of those. I feel like there are other fragrances that you can get out on the market that pull better compliments from it. Um, while it does have a wide array of notes, it also does not stand out that much to me. But it is one that you can blind buy. I would say teenagers can pull the trigger on this one. You can get this, and this would be a good kind of school fragrance, kind of going out fragrance. You can kind of wear it, put it in your backpack, and it'd be something nice where if you need something, you can still have a nice fragrance on. But that one ranks at number five for us. All right, so that one is Legend Night. This next one, hmm. this next one does a little bit better, and this one kind of is more unique in its scent quality and in its scent DNA. Uh, this one is also got the same look as far as the bottle shape but it's got that black look and this one here is called Mont Blanc Legend so this is Legend the Original okay now Legend the Original is gonna have that lavender pineapple bergamot opening so a nice citrusy opening and it's gonna have red apple dried fruits and uh, geranium in the mid so then it gets to a fruitier mid and then it's got that with that dry fruit that dry fruit gives it a different characteristic. That geranium and rose also gives it a little bit more of a floral mid. And then in the base, you're gonna have tonka bean and sandalwood. Now that sandalwood and tonka bean gives it that barbershop appeal, that barbershop accord that I talk about sometimes where it smells like after you get out of that chair, you know, your barber sprays you down uh, at the end of your haircut. And that's really what this one kind of reminds me of. This one's a little bit fresher. And this one pulls a little bit more compliments as opposed to the Legend Night. Um, so it's more of an appropriate daytime fragrance, which is why it takes the edge. You know, for me, who lives in a warm weather city, I can reach for this one a little bit more frequently. But both of those are actually still not bad fragrances. Uh, both of those, I would say, are nice ones to kind of have in your bag, have in your briefcase, have in your, you know, have this sort of a fragrance that you just can pull and be on the go with, all right? So Legend Night, I would say more so cool weather, daytime, maybe even going towards evening, nighttime. And then Legend, the original, I would say you would use that more so as a daily driver, more so when the sun is a little bit more out, a little bit more pronounced because of the citrusy opening and the dry fruit and the spiciness it might be more appropriate for that. I would also wear Legend, the original, possibly for work if you're at early at a new job, you know, and you just need a nice fragrance to have around. All right, now we go to our top three. This next one is for those of us who like that aquatics, you know, sort of C notes, sort of that mineral note type of fresh fragrance, okay? This one here is called Mont Blanc Explorer Blue, okay? Mont Blanc Explorer Blue. So Explorer Blue is gonna come at us with that bergamot, the C notes, the amber grease, that woodsy notes, that patchouli and leather, okay? Now, this one is gonna hit us with that 
citrusy, peppery opening. Okay, now the C notes is really what is the kicker in this fragrance. This is almost like it's trying to be a little bit more on that glacial essence, almost on that like uh, aqua de profondo, but made a little bit more citrusy, made a little bit more on that fruity side rather than like on the aquatic side, on the mineral side. It does have that C notes, and then with the ambergris, the woods, and the patchouli, it definitely gives it a little bit more of that musky freshness in the base, right? This one definitely has pulling compliments. This one is really good warm weather to hot weather, you know, sort of hum humid weather fragrance. And then with that leather note, the leather note is definitely something that adds a level of masculinity to the fragrance. So for those of us who want a nice masculine, clean, crisp, freshy, I would go with this one here. This one is Mont Blanc Explore Blue. All right, go down to our last two. Now, number two, I recently just got a second bottle of. I really love this fragrance. I've always liked this fragrance, okay? And <laughs> this is this one only barely missed the cup by just by just a few compliments. This really could be number one, honestly. So this next one is called Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. Legend Spirit. Legend Spirit is gonna come at us with that grapefruit bergamot pink pepper then it's going to have those watery notes lavender and cardamom then it's going to have that white musk that woods and then that oak moss in the base so nice for me this is that fresh out the shower freshy this is that little bit of an aromatic freshy from the watery lavender and cardamom and then it's going to have that masculine musk and woods in the base okay so a nice all around all season, all occasion fragrance. You can wear it to school, you can wear it to work, wear it to the gym, because remember we are starting to wear our pre-workout fragrances out in the market. We can't ever smell bad in any season, in any location, in any occasion, all right? So this one, definitely compliment pulling magnet, but compliment pulling beast. Also for the price, I think less than $30. You can put this in your car and get this. You'll have this, this one is really nice. Fragrance, man. Really, really enjoy wearing this. Nice sillage too. It's got a nice sillage. It's got a nice longevity, nice projection as well. So this one I really, really enjoy, okay? Ray value fragrance right here. Legend Spirit, all right? Last fragrance for today. <laughs> so for those of us who like Creed Aventus, will like this fragrance, okay? Like that citrusy, woodsy, and that sort of loud accord that Creed Aventus brings, but you don't want to play that 370 to 390, $400 for Creed Aventus, okay? You can get this one right here. This one is the top Creed, I mean, the top Mont Blanc fragrance in my collection. And this one here is called Mont Blanc Explore. All right, so Mont Blanc Explore is gonna hit us with that citrusy opening with the bergamot, pink pepper, and sage. All right, then in the mid, you're gonna get that Haitian vetiver and leather. Then you're gonna get in the base that note I love so much, that ambroxin, and then you're also gonna get that patchouli and cacao. So, put simply, when you think of Mont Blanc Explorer, think of Creed Aventus, think of Club Denoui Intense, think of Nishani Hashivat, think of Nishani Ani, like just that really nice citrusy opening, that really nice citrusy fresh fragrance, but not made overly powdery, overly woodsy. It's got a nice CI, it's got a nice base to it, it's got a nice lasting power. That ambroxion really helps it project, but it's a projection where it's very smooth, it's very pleasant to the nose, okay? That Haitian vetiver and leather, that combination in the mid gives it a nice woodsy, leathery appeal where the woods isn't overpowering your nose, but that leather notice add, adding a level of masculinity to the fragrance, okay? Then you have that patchouli and cacao powder. That cacao powder is giving it that peppery base that people love so much where it's not overly tart because of the citrusy notes, but then it's also not overly leathery and it's also not overly floral as well. So, I mean, just the price, the scent quality, the CRs, the longevity, the projection, all around this is probably the best all around Mont Blanc fragrance in my opinion, all right? So, okay. you want to get you a nice cheapy, just a nice pool blind by, get you Mont Blanc Legend Night, okay? You want a nice barbershop fresh fragrance, you want to get this one right here. This one is Mont Blanc Legend, the original. You want to get you a nice sea notes, nice watery fresh fragrance. You get you this one. This one is Mont Blanc Explorer Blue. You want to get a nice all around fresh shower gel like fragrance. Nice all season, all occasion fragrance. You're going to go with this one here Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. 
last but not least, you wanna get that Creative Ventus DNA, that nice citrusy all around, all occasion, with the great projection, great longevity, great lasting power. Nice citrus fragrance, you're gonna go with this one here. This one is Mont Blanc Explore. All right, guys, that'll do it for today. Nice top five common and pulling fragrances from the brand of Mont Blanc. Again, we appreciate all you guys who listen, tune in, who tap into the channel, who continue to follow me. All you gotta do is like the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel below, and share this with a fellow Frankhead. Remember, we're just trying to build a community out here. And catch on the next one. Make sure to check out and comment any videos that you want me to do. We'll get enough for you. See you on the next one. Much love.